After OPEC's indecisive meeting last week, attention turns to the US. Later this Wednesday, inventory numbers are released. So will we see another unseasonable rise? And once again, we are seeing, uh, or the market is expecting a small rise in inventories. Actually, we are into the time of year here, up towards, uh, up towards year end, where inventories tend to fall in the US. But so far, the, uh, the, the, we've seen it continue to rise. That's obviously adding to the, uh, to the pressure that we're also seeing in, in the US market. WCI crude has been, been, well, you can almost say hammered at the front end uh, over the past uh, couple of weeks here, much more than uh, what, what we've seen in Brent crude. And that's really down to the, the, the risk that uh, inventories will continue to rise at a time where it should be slowing. The focus on US inventory is, is important because as we move into 2016, seasonally we, we tend to see inventories rise again from January to April. And that's during the time where we're also going to see uh, Iranian production pick up, probably to the tune of initially half a million barrels, later in the year up towards a million barrel extra. How will Saudi Arabia respond to this increase? Because obviously that's now the, the focus in the market. Will, will Saudi Arabia match increase in Iran barrel for barrel? If that happens, that's obviously will continue to keep the front end of the oil market under pressure. But, but just in the near term, the only really number we have to, uh, to, to, uh, to focus on is from the US. That's why the inventory data is so important. But can China and even US motorists help stop the route? Well, over time, we, we obviously need to see demand growth main, uh, maintained at the strong levels that we saw in 2015 so far. We are expecting uh, demand growth to continue to rise in 16. Motorists in the U.S. has been driving more than normal. They're buying more, uh, more cars. In China, we've also seen vehicle sales uh, still rising strongly. We're seeing gasoline demand uh, strong there as well. And so oil imports in, in China combined with uh, domestic consumption, but also the government's initiative to continue to increase strategic reserves, will continue to see China being a major buyer in the oil market. That obviously needs to be, be maintained. And then adding to that, we also need over time to see the, the, the low price, oil price currently seen, finally having an, an additional impact on US producers in terms of cutting back production. And I think we will see that probably all these will, will, uh, will, will conspire to meet uh, during the first quarter. We could see US production lower, we could see Iranian production rising, and we can see, continue to see Chinese uh, demand remain relatively firm. So it, it makes it a very volatile first quarter for oil markets. On Tuesday, WTI reached an almost seven-year low. So can oil really fall further? One thing that, uh, that describes a market which is really oversupplied is the contango in the market. That's the discount the spot oil uh, is, is trading relative to the following months. If you look at WTI crude at the moment, if you look at this chart that we're just putting up here, is that the contango in WTI has continued to widen. We're now into a super contango situation in WTI crude. That's obviously indicating the market believes that the price is, is going to go lower because supply is just too, too great. But if you, just, if you look at the Brent crude, we've actually seen the contango narrow over the past uh, couple of weeks here, going in the opposite direction. So this supply glut that we allegedly are having globally, it's not really having, uh, it's not really been priced in the Brent at the moment. Could potentially indicate that the problem is not as great as we, as we see it at stage. But I think that also goes to, to, goes to show that the market right now is reacting to fear of what may happen now over the coming months. Not exactly the situation we have right now, but over the coming months. And obviously, Fear that it relates to something in the future can be addressed before we get to the future. So, uh, so that obviously could, uh, could change the, the outlook for it before we get there.